Welcome to a new market update and today we're going to discuss Bitcoin as Bitcoin has been moving. There is a ton of FUD regarding FTX but that's not what we're going to look at today. We're going to focus on a small market update for Bitcoin as volatility is kicking in, midterms are happening and later this week the core is taking place which is CPI data. Before we continue, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel and also make sure to check out our free trade letter which is free entirely three times per week on trading and investing and also we've got one week premium membership which you can test for free if you check out the description as you can see i'm currently traveling as i'm in oman and i'll be going towards some very cool places today and that's why we're going to shoot in the hotel hopefully the audio is just working fine let's get towards the charts so when we're looking at bitcoin the case is that the markets are breaking up at this point um, despite the fact that Powell has been very hawkish but it seems to be that the markets are not really mentioning or expecting that to last at this point so in this case we can see that the markets are showing some momentum all right so Bitcoin has been running towards 21.5 and is now seeking for a higher low to continue the actual momentum as we can see in the chart when you're looking at the yields the yields have been going up hill still so probably the cpi data or midterms from tomorrow are going to be a key trigger again if the yields continue to run to the upside the yields are probably going to have an impact on the prices of bitcoin in a negative way if cpi comes in lower than expected we most likely are going to see bitcoin and the nasdaq continue to run up but we can conclude that bitcoin is starting to show strength here as it is making higher lows higher highs so what are the levels that we're looking at when it comes to the price action of Bitcoin? That's very simple. We can definitely argue that once we create a higher low, then we are going to continue running towards 22.5. And most likely we are even going to continue making the run towards the range high at 25k. As the range high at 25k is the crucial resistance that we have here. What are we looking at right now? Well, we did see an expansion towards 21.4 and then some FUD regarding Sam Alameda and so on to, from FTX came in, which is resulting into some downwards pressure on the markets. Probably not funded right, but it's going to give an impact here and probably the NASDAQ of today is going to give an impact once again. Although that last part has not been pushing the markets for Bitcoin down that much, it has actually been showing strength. So in this case, we are looking at a few levels of support that I preferably want to see it sustain on. It is looking at the level at 20.5 and 20.3. Um, and actually, those are the regions that I'll be looking at for potential long positions. Why is that? Well, in this case, we can see that this 20.4 to 24.5 level is the resistance that we have been acting uh, for over a month and now we are looking at a potential flip of that region to conclude that buyers are stepping in so if you want to get into long positions this is the region where you want to get into those because if we do hold around this block and around 20.4 then we're going to get continuation towards the range higher 22.5 inducing that the impact of the markets is going to bring a ton of value towards the altcoins as well as altcoins are always giving you a higher ROI when you play that higher low flip. And if you look at the altcoin markets, you can see that the altcoins are showing the exact same path. And therefore, we are discussing a few of those altcoins in the coming days too. too. So when we're looking at Bitcoin for potential trade opportunities, I'll be looking at longs around 20.4 towards 20 point potentially 6. You might want to play them out already, but I want to get the optimal trade. So if you're not into a long yet, those are the regions to look at. Preferably, you want to see Bitcoin sustain above 20K because if we do lose 20K, we're going to lose the actual momentum that we have here. And then we might be looking at short opportunities in which you start shorting the bounce towards 20.8 or you start shorting there and then you're looking at a correction all the way towards 19.4. So it's going to be a volatile week when it comes to CPI in the midterms, but overall when we're looking at the scope of Bitcoin, it looks ready for continuation to the upside and therefore I stick to the buy the dip play. I hope you have been enjoying this small market update. Later today I'll be back with a fresh new market update on an altcoin as we are going to do some very short altcoin updates as well during the entire week. If you have been enjoying this update, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe beneath and I'll be back later today with a fresh new update.
Tchau.